Hello! <laughs> I'm doing my coffee talk, my insights. As always, I just love doing these insights because it comes so much stuff into my head the whole time. And today, I woke up with a message from a woman asking me if I could come and speak on different events on relationships. And I'm not sure if it was in her email or if I read something in a group, in a Facebook group, but it was about, <laughs> we need to support each other during this herbal time of dating. And yes, the horrible time of dating comes from subconscious beliefs. Okay, there is so much to this. Okay, we gotta start from the beginning. In order for you to find somebody lovely to date you, you will have to know who you are. And in order for you to know who you are, then you will have to date yourself. How do you do that? Ask yourself questions. What is important to you? What are your core values? Who are you? If you couldn't be judged, what will you do? Why do you want a partner? Many times we want a partner because we feel empty. So we expect the other partner to fill up a hole within us. And we get taught this when we are kids and from movies all the time. It's like the other partner is supposed to complete you. And you are my better half. And that is not a sign of a healthy relationship. I have been studying this thing of healthy relationships for a long time now because it fascinates me. I had to realize that I had never been in a healthy relationship in my whole life. And I'm kind of sure that if you think about what is a healthy relationship for you, have you been in one? With friends, with family, with boyfriend, girlfriend, with a partner, husband, wife, whatever. Have you been in a healthy relationship? And what is a healthy relationship? In order for us to have a healthy relationship, we need to understand what we think a healthy relationship is. And if you want to attract somebody who resonates with you, who loves you for who you are, then you will have to first love you for who you are. Because if you do not want to date you, if you do not want to invest time and money in yourself, why would anybody else do that? Now when I think about it, it's almost like I'm getting upset. I'm getting this meaning in ya. <laughs> it's like, why? Honestly, if you don't invest in yourself, why would anybody else do that? Start to ask you that question and what do you honestly do to invest in yourself? That is the number one thing to do. Start to invest in you and everything that you want your partner to do for you, you will have to do for yourself. Because if you want to have a partner mm, to give you flowers, if you want to have a partner to go on lovely dates, that means that you're lacking that right now. Do you get it? Like, if you want to have it, it means that you have this feeling that you want to have it because you don't have it right now. So when you fill yourself up with those things, because in lacking, many people speak about law of attraction and it doesn't work and law of attraction is frustrating and blah, blah, blah. It's because you are attracting the wrong things. Law of attraction is working 100%, 24-7, every single second and you will attract not what you want to have but what you are and if you have in your subconscious mind is beliefs and what you are is lack of what you want to have then you will only attract more lack so in order for you to actually attract a lovely partner because he or she is out there i am convinced he or she is out there if you want to attract a lovely partner, then you will fill yourself up with those things like buy flowers to yourself. Every time I'm not at my partner's house, I am when I'm alone in my house, I always buy myself flowers because I love to get flowers and I do that for myself and that means I never lack the feeling of having flowers. So does it make sense? <laughs> does it sound weird? I don't know, but honestly, Whatever you want the other person to do for you, you got to do for yourself first because then you fill yourself up with that so you don't need anybody else to do it for you. Especially women, we can 
have people telling us that we are needy and being needy is not a good thing for attracting the right kind of relationship. So if you want to attract the right kind of relationship, first of all, start to date yourself, understand who you are. In order for you to wrap represent yourself and showing your authentic self and attracting somebody who are on the same level you will have to know who you are first of all and then whatever you want a partner to do for you do it for yourself first and then <laughs> understand what is a healthy relationship what do you actually want in my case when I left the marriage I was in and then kind of had this sense I was like okay maybe I should Maybe I am ready to, to have a new relationship. I actually wrote a list. I was like, how would I like to feel? What is a healthy relationship? And then I wrote a list and I was like, I want this person to have this kind of job because that will give us the freedom to travel together when I work online and blah, blah, blah. And these things, I didn't mention anything about the looks of the person, nothing like that. I said, it has to be a strong physical attraction we have to be able to speak about all of these woo-woo stuff that I always talk about. Three days later, he showed up and he ticked off everything on that list. So I know, and this is what I teach to all my coaching clients, the women, the men I work with, write a list of what you want to have in a relationship. How do you want to feel? And in order for you to attract that, you will have to be it yourself. So if you want to have a health relationship, it starts with you having a health relationship with you. So everything, do you see how it works? Everything goes back to yourself. You will have to become the person you want to attract into your life. I could speak about this forever. And um, <laughs> if you are ready to attract a healthy relationship into your life, or if you already are in a relationship and you want to shift it, you want it to get better, Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because I do these updates all the time and I get insights all the time and I will share with you because I think it's an important part of this spiritual growth that we are actually sharing with each other. And on my website, lindaturnquist.com, there is a free download that you can download with a hypnotic recording that will reprogram your mind for the success that you want in life while you sleep. That's it for now. Have a beautiful day. I love you so much. Bye.